What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, you know what it is. Today we got the Uniqlo U Spring Summer 23 collection. And a quick summary of my thoughts, I feel like this collection was a mixed bag. Now this video isn't sponsored at all, I bought all of these items with my own money, so all opinions are my own. But hey Uniqlo, if you want to sponsor me, say what's up. And so for our first garments, we have the oversized should hook this the other way we have the oversized utility jackets first off it's got an oversized cut for easy layering and i went true to size which is a size medium definitely looks a little bit big on me but the coolest part is there's an adjustable hem drawstring that lets you change up the silhouette of this piece but if i'm being honest if i were to reorder i'd probably size down one size you've got a ton of pockets inside pockets chest pockets waist pockets and the snap buttons feel nice and premium nothing too crazy but it has a satisfying snap i can always appreciate the zipper chest pocket you know that's a great place to Place your phone and it does add a more sportswear approach to this garment and fellas the colorway on this is perfect for spring the pinkish purple pastel colorway is very nice very spring s refreshing bright and i think this would be a great addition to your wardrobe if you're into a more timeless colorway they do have a khaki and a navy colorway up next are some of my favorites from this collection and that is the parachute pants i have two colorways i have the natural colorway and then the dark gray colorway as well let me just grab the natural one right here so what i love about these pants is they give you versatility and options so start Starting off, it's like a normal pair of pants. There's two pleated folds that help with the shape of the pants. Now, just be aware when you do get these pants, especially if they're shipped to you, the pleated work on them is all types of messed up. So make sure you fold it, apply some pressure or heat from a steamer or something like that. And it's really going to help you retain the shape of these pants. But anyways, you are able to cinch these pants, which is where they shine. And I think the cinch look really shines with runners or low top sneakers. And the models in the product photos are wearing sandals. I think that's a pretty cool look too. But yeah, there are belt loops if you want to add your own belts, extended belts for some more visual interest and if you're not yet used to wide fitting pants this is a great start you can wear it with that cinch look which gives you a more tapered look you can wear wide fits you can cuff it plenty of options with this piece okay up next is the short jackets this is made with a cotton canvas which i can only describe as a little bit more stiff and it's just a simple jacket it's chest pockets adjustable hem and more of a cropped length hence the short jacket name so when it comes to a cropped or shorter jacket these pieces really shine with higher waisted trousers and of course since there is less material in contact with your skin it's gonna be much more breathable me personally i always like rolling up the sleeves to show off some accessories but it looks dope either way mine is in the brown colorway i thought the natural looked kind of boring and black of course is fine but uh you know i just want to try something else this is just one of those pieces that is going to look great with a tank top and some accessories like these ones from lupin the sponsor of today's video so lupin is an la based jewelry brand and they make the best jewelry for men and i mean that in fact i found their pieces and quality to be so good that i even partnered up with them to come out with my own jewelry collection called the Ascend collection. So we developed three pieces together, the signet ring, the cuff, and the Ascend necklace. Character on these pieces means to advance, move forward, or ascend. You know, it's part of a phrase that my parents would tell me growing up to constantly improve and to do better. The ring is nice and hefty with the Ascend character on there. Instantly makes this fit feel more chic. The metal cuff was inspired by staircases and advancing upwards, and it's just so simple that it can pair with any style. And finally, we have the necklace. A lot of y'all have sent pictures wearing this piece. It's really crazy to see, and y'all definitely look and fly. We have the Chinese character Jun on a black onyx stone surrounded by 925 sterling silver, and this is all handcrafted in Korea. Now, I'm myself am allergic to nickel plated metals this has none of that it's not going to irritate your skin these pieces were developed with versatility in mind and it's definitely going to look good on you if you're interested in any of these pieces and you'd like to support definitely click that link in the description you guys can use my discount code fly with johnny ty to save yourself a good amount of money once again click that link in the description pick yourself up one of these pieces and i want to thank you guys for being a supporter of lupin and a supporter of me now next up we have the poncho and the greatest part about this piece is just how lightweight it is you can just stuff this down any bag keep it in your trunk for emergencies and shit this thing even turns into a bag of course it is water repellent has an adjustable cuff and it can be worn strictly in inclement weather or you can also rock it kind of like an overcoat you've definitely got options especially if you're a city dweller this is going to be a perfect piece for your wardrobe and they got quite the amount of colorways as well and now we have the selvage denim yeah, i really should have just hooked it the other way around Ugh, y'all know me already. I am not the biggest fan of denim jeans. And I already made a whole video about that already, but I can always appreciate quality and craftsmanship because you're always gonna hear the term great quality, but it's hard to tell what that means. Now, this piece is obvious. So first off, it's pre-washed to get that pure indigo color that's going to look better over time. It's got a regular fits, nothing slim or wide fits. And the way you can tell denim has nice construction is by that right there. And yes, it does come cuffed by the way. This extra lining of material helps with structure and shape as you wear it and wash it over time so you'll know this is going to last and that's just a sign of premium denim so just check out any of your other denim jeans if they don't have that lining of material it's not going to
going to be as nice as if it did. And for 60 bucks, that's not bad at all. And next, I picked up three different bucket bags from them, two large and one medium. And let me just get this out the way. I'm not really a big fan of the large ones. I Me mean, personally, I just think they're too large, but they do have some pretty cool details. You can carry it like a unique shape tote bag or as a sling. And these bags are inspired by 90s baguette bags or traditional Japanese kinjaku. Sorry if I butchered that. Draw strings for easy access, a security pocket inside your bag so your valuables don't fly everywhere. But I think the medium sized bag is the perfect size. But overall, I like its shape and design, but I just think it's a little bit too large for me. And finally, we have the wide fit chinos. Honestly, I'm quite disappointed in these pants. I feel like you can already tell. I just know Uniqlo can produce a better product than this. This one just doesn't feel nice and I don't think it suits my body. Obviously, Uniqlo is great because they have tailoring options. You can take this to the tailor yourself and I'm sure you can make it look nice. But just take a look at the pleated work. It's not as nice as it was in the pictures and this may just be my personal experience and it was shipped to me as well. So you gotta factor that in and you might have a better experience shopping in person. But yeah, when you wear these, I just... They just don't feel as nice, in my opinion. Now, those are my thoughts on this Uniqlo drop. A bit of a mixed bag this year, but overall, there's a lot of timeless pieces. A lot of the pieces were constructed well. So if you guys are interested in any of these items, I'll leave them linked down in the description. Full transparency, if you do make a purchase using my link, I do get a small kickback, which does go back to supporting the channel. My jewelry collection with Lupin will also be linked in the description. Go support your boy. And until then, stay fly. Open up all those links in different tabs. Deuces.